Hey everybody, how's it going? Marcos Viegas for Fight Up TV, powered by Stagefront VIP. Being joined with Coach Bomack ahead of this Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence undisputed fight. I'm so excited for this. I know you guys have been wanting this fight for a very long time. Just overall, what does this fight mean to you as Terrence's trainer and, and what it can do for you personally? Me personally, man, uh, I, I don't, I don't try to look at it to do anything for me because uh, at the end of the day, the fighters got to get in there. Uh, once my job is done, and I complete my job and do what's asked of me as far as training Terrence and keeping him focused throughout camp. And then years down the line, then I may be able to tell the world about, you know, the preparation leading up to it. But, but right now, me as myself, I just want, I'm just, I'm just going to get myself prepared and my team and, and Terrence and everybody else around us to dominate this fight. You knowing Terrence and knowing that he's been wanting this fight for many, many years, you know, how, how bad does he want this one? Like, what, what does he tell you day in and day out about this fight? One thing I hear from Terrence is uh, f from day in and day out is he wanted to be considered the best in the sport, like he said, of this era of this Terrence Crawford era. And it's not something that, you know, he just thought about in the last couple of fights. It's something he's been preparing his whole life for. And to finally get this moment, when this moment comes, this fight is finally developing now. I'm ecstatic and to be a part of a history making moment when Terrence finished this dude off. I'm ecstatic as a fan <laughs> to be able to watch these two guys fight uh, in their prime. You know, when you look at the fight and, and just seeing how Terrence's demeanor is, like uh, when I look at him, I, I see like he he has like no doubt like that he knows he's going to win this fight. I know it's going to be difficult, but you as his trainer, how difficult is it going to be preparing for someone like an Errol Spence? It's, it's not, it's, it, to be completely honest with you, it, for Terrence to be excited and enthused about going in there and proving what he's been telling the, the world all along is actually an easy job for us because once you get a person that is on a mission, they're going to do everything that's impossible to their ability to pepper, prepare themselves to go out there and be great. We can train the fighter all day long, day in and day out, from weeks and months and time after time again. But in reality, it comes from the fighter. It's come from the heart. And it makes a job easier for me and the rest of the coaches because it ain't no getting him up to go. It's slowing him down. So for a fighter... Of that caliber, man, it's phenomenal to see. When we see the fight, what do you feel is going to separate Terrence? Like, how is it going to go down? Because we hear Errol is going to say, or he said, I'm going to physically and mentally break Terrence. My, people have said his work rate is, is a big, should be a big concern in this fight or could be. You know, what do you think we are going to see and what separates Terrence in there? I think you're going to see... A performance that is uh, been waiting, uh, been viewed by many, many people around the world. And for Earl to say, I'm going to come and break you, um, he just throwing fuel on the fire because of a, that's a challenge that Terrence want. And he's going to make sure that he remind him of what you said. Just by his boxing IQ, his power, his will, his determination, to finish this dude all. One would say Spence has those same qualities. Would you agree with that? Or, or is there something there that Spence can't match that Terrence has? You know, I can't take nothing away from Spence. And you you probably 100% right, but being around this kid since birth, to see what he went through f 
from day one to July 29th, just just leave, believe me in my heart that leaves no doubt that he will win. Now, when we see the fight, do you think it goes all 12 rounds, in your personal opinion? Well, just looking at the, the way that, you know, how Terrence, how bad Terrence wanted to fight and how much he prepared and the, the, what, what gears it in now. Um, we probably going to be prepared to go 24 rounds, but if he hurt it, he going to stop him. So that already tell you something. You know, uh, me speaking with a lot of trainers, they're picking Terrence. Um, one, I want to imagine it's not a surprise to you, but I'm curious, like what, why, what are they seeing that maybe the, the normal boxing fan doesn't see when it comes to this fight as to why so many trainers are siding with your fighter? Because those are real boxing fans. Those, those trainers are them been in the gym for many, many, many years and they see what type of fighter Terrence is. And I see it too. And you see it too. So um, I'm not surprised that 99.9% .9 of the trainers out there pick Terrence. Only person probably don't not pick a Terrence is Derek James. Well, yeah, it's his fighter. <laughs> I would hope he's not picking, picking against his own guy. That would be kind of bad. Yeah, I was just talking shit, man. <laughs> hey, you know, a lot's been said, though, about uh, Crawford, not, excuse me, uh, Errol's work rate, the, the amount of punches he throws in, in the round, and people brought up, hey, if Terrence starts off slow, he could see himself being four or five rounds down. That's not good, you know, and then he's trying to play catch. If you're shaking your head, you're disagreeing already, let me know. Because man, any any, I don't know, man. I'll look good against you if you stood in front of me. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? Probably. Or you did. It's just real simple. It's real simple. <laughs> but a lot of people would say, well, Spence keeps him there because of his power. Like where these guys can't do anything because he's cutting the ring off. He's shooting that jab where you know he's not giving these guys a lot of options. Well, man, you know, Terrence is different, man, and, and the world knows that. That's why I'm, uh, what's why he's a favorite. That's why I'm, you know, majority of their the picks is going towards Terrence, Terrence's way. So, you know, obviously Terrence know how to take away whatever a fighter that he might be sending in front of, front of take it away from him to make him look ordinary. There's been many fighters out there that say, oh, he's going to, this is his greatest test, and he looked like it's a sparring match, and then he doesn't get any credit, you know. And I bet you this. I bet you when Bud beat, this, beat his ass, it's going to be an excuse. They're going to move the goalposts back a little bit further. What do you think it say? Something. They're going to come up with something. Watch. Now, I would say something bad about Arrow, but... I might get threatened for my life again. <laughs> no, he no. can't believe a 14-year-old girl threatened me for my life. Man, when did this happen? And over what? God, oh, my God. <laughs> over what? <laughs> over Errol. Over Errol? I swear to God. What'd you say? Uh, no, this, I'm just say it now. Yeah. She going to threaten me again. She probably 18 now. So she can probably get to carry a pistol now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're speaking with uh, Terrence in a dream scenario. Say he does beat Errol and the rematch when happens. When, for you guys, when that happens, uh, so I'm stopping the interview <laughs> until you say when. When, when that happens, right, yeah. when that happens, you know, uh, ideally, is he going to go to 54, try to take on Charlo to get those belts? Like, have you guys thought that out yet? Uh, I, uh, I think it's a rematch clause in there. Yeah. I think even if they go up to 54, if if I'm not mistaken, but that's probably ideally what what we should do mm -hmm. is to move up and. Go go after who's ever up there. And then is that it? That's a career. That's a wrap. You think? Uh, I probably it's probably getting close. You know, because he's accomplished a lot in the game. So maybe he should. It'd be a crazy way out. It'd be a historic way out. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Where do you think it would place him all time if he's able to top with five. this win and then on top of that? Top five. Oh, top five. Yeah, yeah. Top five. Oh, geez, top five. Top five. Good. You could have that on your hands. Well, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. You know, fighters like that don't come around often. 
they challenge themselves to get to that next level. Yeah. All right, Bomac, good chatting with you as always. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Coach Bomac, Marcos Vegas here in Los Angeles. Crawford versus Spence coming up. Can't wait.